Welcome back, everyone, to Random Thoughts. Coming to you today with another Rune Strike spoiler. This time for Den of Thieves, the upcoming season. And let me tell you, I'm personally very excited about this one because it very much plays into and seems to immediately slot into a deck that I have been wanting to play for a while. And there's a number of facets that we're going to talk about, so let's get right into it. Personally, I always liken spoiler season to Christmas time. It, it just kind of works that way in my brain because we're about to get a whole bunch of new toys. We can unwrap all of the possibilities and then, of course, have a whole lot of fun as we, well, put them through their paces. And <laughs> if you were like me as a kid, maybe some of your toys didn't make it out <laughs> to the end and survive all that long. But he, thanks to digital card games, they're going to last a little bit longer. Now, in this particular case, we have an order spell that's coming up, as you probably saw just a minute ago in the transition. What card is that? It's Mass Incapacitate. Now, you take a look at that beauty over there. We'll get to my earlier comments about where I was excited to run this, but let's talk about the card first. It's a five-cost order spell. Target enemy minion loses three attack. Adjacent minions lose two attack, and all other enemy minions lose one one attack this is a pretty impactful card it's pretty significant what happens to your opponent's side of the board as we all know rune strike is very much a game built around and defined by its board clears every faction has some way to do it in unique flavorful ways and order had been kind of lacking on that front up to this point we only really had decimate but now if you notice down there at the bottom can i point at it there we go it's not an orange gem. That's a purple gem. This is an epic. You can run two copies of Mass Incapacitate and lock down your opponent's side of the board, which immediately segues into my first point about this. You can lock down your opponent's side of the board. If you can <laughs> I hit the ideal scenario, you live the dream, you tag their middle lane minion, reduce everything else, you're reducing an enormous amount of incoming damage. But let's be real. People play around cards, right? The, your opponent plays the game too. The fact of the matter is that you're still reducing a huge amount of attack on their side of the board, even if you hit the unfortunate scenario of having to target something in lanes 1 or lane 5. Presumably, you're going to be looking for that multi-play, that multi-hit. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. But even if you hit a single minion for 3 attack or minus three attack in this case, that's a pretty impactful change. Whether that you're changing combat math, you're just reducing damage so that you win the race, or, and here's where I'm really excited, running it in Faith. Faith up to this point has not really had a whole plethora of sweepers, but adding Mass Incapacitate into the mix could change things into her favor. As a solo-focused archetype, or primarily solo focus you can obviously run faith in other ways having access to these sweepers is huge there were a number of games as i've been playing faith currently with the existing card pool where i just wanted another turn or two and the fact of the matter is mass incapacitate can definitely get you that but wait here's a little something extra remember i was talking about locking down your opponent's board mass incapacitate heavily disrupts your opponent what do i mean by that We've played Rune Strike. We know that there are scenarios where it's, man, I really would love to upgrade this unit spot, but my board is full. I just can't play the better minion because I don't happen to have consume. And if you're not Morlich, you don't have a whole lot of sacrifice effects normally to get rid of minions on your side of the board. It's entirely possible you mass incapacitate things, possibly twice. Or if there are more effects that stack debuffs on your opponent's minions, that whoops, all of a sudden, their board is filled with one, two, or zero attack minions. It's going to be kind of rough to win against a 7, 8, 9, 10 attack fate if your entire board is filled with minions and they don't do anything. There's a lot of exciting things about Mass Incapacitate that have got me really interested in opening this up. I'm very much looking forward to getting this in my Den of Thieves packs the next and upcoming season. So let me know, are you as excited about Mass Incapacitate as I am? Because I have to admit, I'm pretty hyped. 
and I'm very much looking forward to the rest of the reveals from the Den of Thieves expansion. So as always, everybody, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And Black Lives Matter.